<sighs> morning everyone it's been a while sorry about that uh, so today quite an exciting day today we're finally getting the rear suspension sorted out on um, Bertha so ever since we've had her she's obviously we've done a refurb on the back end we've still got the original springs and shocks on her which are a bit tired so it's been a bit saggy she still drives all right um, but it's still right sort of near the bump stops so we managed to pick up a nice set of um, a refurb, well, basically a set of second-hand original springs, but of an upgraded model, so it should give us a bit more comfort and a bit more uh, suspension. And it was again a bush down on the front arm, but we have had to find all the parts ourselves because obviously it's a hard vehicle to to get. But luckily, we've got a really good local garage, so I'll spin you around and I'll show you all the bits. So these are the bits we're talking about. That's the front arm. So we've got in in the van this bush here is perished. Uh, so this this is a whole hope of life physics has got a good ball joint already on it we can just unbolt that and that hopefully two rear shocks uh, which are a bit longer and then these are the new springs so our current leaf springs have got one and a half so they've got one of these bars and then this half bar or this sort of where this is where this obviously got three so it's of a three and a half ton um LT, so it should give us a bit more oomph at the back. Uh, I refurb these when we got them, they were a little bit on the, I mean they're in good condition, but they were just a bit surface rust, so I just cleaned them all up, uh, treated all the, like took all the rust off with an angle grinder, and then um, sorted them, painted them, and then I just give them a paint of hammer, of, uh, hammer right, which has been a good idea because they were sat, they've been sat sort of outside for a little while while we were trying to get this processed. You know, the problem we've had is just trying to be not be out of the van because obviously we've been because we're living it. It's and we've had things on the weekends. Just trying to get a, a weekend where we can say, yeah, have the van, no problem. Or not a weekend, sorry, but a day or maybe two where we can say have the van and we've got somewhere else to stay. We're um, the van's run at the moment. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but we're, we're having the usual kind of winter issues with the batteries. We're down to about getting down some days to sort of 10, 15 percent of the batteries. So. Um, run the van for an hour, gives us like a 20% boost, so there should be enough then for it to sit in the garage all day, not get any sun, not that there's gonna be any sun today, as you can probably see. So yeah, we're um, we're about to get packed up and head off, and then um, I'll give you an update later when I pick the van up. Cheers. Actually, just thinking, I should probably just show you what I mean by the way she sits. So uh, again, I'll just spin the camera back around again for you, and I'll show you what I mean. So you can see, obviously she's very low in the back. See, yeah, I know she sits above around the tire. That, that is just a fiberglass trim, so there's plenty of room in there. Uh, but she sits low. They never rubs or anything like that. But as you can see, how it sits low. Whereas compared to the front, we've got a good bit of travel, and a bit more, a bit more height. So here, where we are at home, or at our old house, it's um, it's fairly level. So because it slows down a little bit at the front. Um, but yeah, hopefully when we get her back, she'll have a bit more space at the back. Oh. Hello. Let me just turn around. So it's been a few days since my the last clip. Um, we dropped the van off at our garage. As we said, to have a suspension done, front arm. Um, now when I took it down the last time, I spoke to them about it and we said obviously, because the leaf springs were changing size, that the u bolts wouldn't be any good. And um, the guy that I spoke to was like, yeah, no problem, we'll get it on the ramp and then we'll measure them. Now, when I took it in, it's the one thing I forgot to say, oh, by the way, your colleague said he would measure them. So anyway, went in and we got a call to say, oh, can't do the leaf springs because they're too, they're the wrong, you know, you know, they won't fit because shackle bolts, so the u bolts won't, won't fit. So I was like, oh, okay, well, we, you know, we knew this. So anyway, What's happened then is so we took the van in Wednesday morning, hoping to get the van back Wednesday night. It's now Friday. Um, obviously, we live in the van full time, so we made arrangements to stay somewhere Wednesday night. Um, and then we it went, I waited all day yesterday, Friday, uh, Thursday, to see because they basically said they were going to start getting the bolts, getting some bolts supplied. Waited all day for. Uh, an update, end up calling about 5 p.m. Well, about half past four to be told, oh no, you won't get the van back this week. And I was like, what? You know, we, we obviously, we got to have the van back this week because we live in it. So, um, basically, long story short, is it's now, say, Friday. I've had to take a day off work. Um, so I've, had to, I've run around all over the place trying to find U-bolts, 
and during the course of the work we realised that one of the wheel studs was flattened at one end so when the bolt tried to be undone, the wheel bolt tried to be undone it pulled the stud out so that had to be cut off so I needed a new stud um, so I've been trying to find new bolts mainly to get to get the suspension done the stud wasn't such a priority because I could obviously survive with just four um, studs uh, for just, just for short journeys that we're doing at the moment so um, I ended up um, where I sorry I ended up uh, trying to literally say trying to go everywhere today to try and find these things couldn't find a damn thing um, Shackle bolts, new bolts seem to be um, like just impossible to, to get anywhere. Uh, I've got nowhere really local that does them for me. We've managed to find now that there's an alternative um, vehicle that does them. So it's a bit of a tight gap on a country lane. Um, Very tight. Oh, a bit too tight for this guy, apparently. Uh, doesn't want to put his car in the hedge, which is, I suppose is fair enough. So. Oh, massive one. Cheers, grumpy bastard. Anyway, so, where was I? Um, yeah, so, um, we chased around all last night, went on Facebook forums, everything else, trying to uh, find out where these bolts were. Couldn't, couldn't find anything. Loads of people suggested to the places, but obviously they were all closed last night. We were freaking out because they have a van. Plus, obviously, in the van we've got a full-size, we, we've got our food. So we've got a full-size fridge freezer with our food in it. And um, that had no, uh, no soda. That we, so we were getting no soda for two days. So the batteries were obviously dead. And the fridge wasn't, wasn't obviously being kept well on um, so we were freaking out about that um, plus obviously having nowhere to stay etc etc so anyway um, then somebody said to me oh I'm a fabricator I'll make them I'll make yourself you bolts uh, I've got I've got I've got the iron work with a friend the bar bulb anyway so I left that with him first thing this morning got up like a cracker door and took stuff to him that he needed so he could have a template to work on the old bolt left him in for two hours to be told he couldn't make them uh, which is fair enough it was just a pain to make um, so we had to make a call so basically what we decided to do was decide to just put the van back together as it was bring it back home so obviously we've had two days of the van in the garage and obviously made absolutely zero progress um, but it means we've now got to just pick the van back up um, so the vans are home in the parked in the sun with the solar charge in the battery so that's good uh, the fridge on everything seems to be alright and the batteries are surprising enough are okay so they seem to start taking charge as soon as they get obviously they've got their own the lithium so they've got their own management system so that wasn't too much of a concern in the end um i've now so i've since managed to source a set of wheel studs from a local supplier i've bought a few extra so we've got spares for the future in um finding out that the wheel bolts are the same as they are on other vehicles i've, I've ordered a set of those and also got some extras for the future and now we just need there's we the garage just said to us that um they there's a bolt that goes on the front arm which where the bush has been worn away i, I suspected the bolt might be worn away but he says it's it's not worn away as such it's just solid like sea solid so um he's a bit concerned that if he has to heat it up it's gonna be a problem um so just wanted to make sure try and have a spare so i said yeah that's so now i've got to find one of those as well so what we're going to do is get all the parts together and then take the van back uh, and get it fixed up that way and that's going to be hopefully be the simplest way so yeah we've learned a couple of big lessons obviously it is a classic car so parts aren't as easy to find but we've got classic vw's and they've always been no problem but this particular model the lt of this the mark one lt as well just seems to be pretty difficult to find parts um so it's, i guess it's just a lesson learned i'm just going to be everywhere i go now I'll be collecting parts um, Christ maybe if you slow down a little bit um, everywhere we go now I'll be collecting parts so if we end up having to find a bit I'll end up getting a few more of those bits 
just to make sure that we've got bits in, in stock um, and we'll keep a little spares collection going as we go. So yeah, so that's the update, which is not the update I wanted to give you. I was hoping I'd be able to show you the van all up and it's you know, jacked up at the back, everything done. New suspension on looking pretty, but uh, unfortunately we're back as we were. So, so yeah, uh, so um, I'll probably end this here. I'm gonna I'll, I'll try and get this posted today, maybe, or over the weekend, or I'll wait until we actually get another one. I'll probably split it into two parts, otherwise it'll be a long video. So I've waffled on for seven minutes about all this, so sorry about that. But um, yeah, I'll sign off now and um, I'll let you know, well, watch out for the next video when hopefully all this work will be done. Cheers, everyone. Speak soon.